Hello everyone, this is a GRE quantitative reasoning practice question. It is from the chapter number properties. The question is set in select one or more answer format. What is the concept tested? The concept tested is basically divisibility of numbers, right? It is not test of divisibility, it is divisibility of numbers. Let us see how to go about it. Let us read the question first. Which of the following numbers will divide 5040 completely without leaving a remainder indicate all such numbers? What is the approach? If let us say this number 243 divides 5040, then when we prime factorize 5040 and we prime factorize 243, all the prime factors found in 243 should be available, should be contained in 5040. In that case, 243 will divide 5040. If 5040 either does not have one of the prime factors found in this number or does not have it in adequate powers, then that number is not going to divide 5040. So, our process is step 1 prime factorize 5040. Step 2 prime factorize each of these numbers and check out whether all the prime factors contained in these numbers are found in 5040 in adequate quantity, right. So, that is the process we are going to take. So, step 1 let us prime factorize 5040, 5040. Face of it, I quickly know that this number is divisible by 8. So, why is it, why do I know that? Any 1000 is divisible by 8. So, 5000 is divisible by 8, 40 is divisible by 8, right. 1000 by 8 is a 125. So, 5000 by 8 is 5 times that 625, 40 by 8 is a 5, 630 is what we get. So, I will quickly make this as an 8, I will rewrite it later on as a 2 cube. So, this is going to be equal to 630. This number is further divisible by a 2. So, this will make it as 315. 315 is nothing but 35 times 9. So, I will write it as a 9 and then 35, 35 we will write it as a 7 and a 5. We will prime factorize these and club the powers of 2 together. So, 8 into 2 16 which will make it as 2 raised to a power of 4, 9 can be written as 3 square times 5 times 7. This is essentially our 5040, right. Now, let us pick each of these answer options and check out whether they have powers of 2, 3, 5 and 7 in quantities that are lesser than or equal to that are found in 5040, right. So, quickly in the next slide, I am going to write 2 raised to a power of 4, 5040 for us is equal to 2 raised to a power of 4 into 3 square into 5 into 7. Quickly check it out, 2 raised to a power of 4 into 3 square into 5 into 7 is what we have, right. 243, 3 cube is a 27, 3 power 4 is an 81, 3 power 5 is this number. So, this is 3 raised to a power of 5. 5040 has only a 3 square, whereas 243 is a 3 raised to a power of 5. So, this number will not be able to divide 5040. This is not the answer, right. It's more answer option 2. 144, 144 is a 16 times 9. That is something known to us. 16 is a 2 raised to a power of 4 and 9 is a 3 square. 2 power 4 and 3 square are certainly contained or found in 5040. So, 5040 will be divisible by 144. Good. B is one of the answer options. 240, 240 is a 24 into 10, okay, or 48 into 5. 48 can be written as 16 into 3 into 5, which is essentially 2 raised to a power of 4 times 3 times 5, right. So, 16 3s are 48, 48 into 5 is equal to 240. 2 power 4 is contained there. 3 square is available. So, definitely 3 will divide it. 5 is there. So, this number will also divide 5040. Move on to answer option D. 112. 100 is divisible by 4. 112 will also be divisible by 4. So, this is equal to a 28 times 4, which is 4 into 7 into 4. 16 can be written as 2 raised to a power of 4 into 7. We know our 5040 is equal to 2 raised to a power of 4 times 3 square times 5 times 7. 2 power 4, yes, certainly present, 7 per, certainly present. So, 112 will also divide this number. So, D is also one of the answer options. 560, which is 56 into 10, we will first write it that way. 7 into 8, 56 into 10, we will write it as a 2 into 5. 8 twos are 16, which is 2 raised to a power of 4 times 5 times 7. Well, this number, is this contained in 5040? Yes, 2 power 4, 5, 7. So, 560 will also divide this number. Lastly, we have answer options F, 405, 405 is 45 times 9, right. So, that is uh, 5 into 9 into 9, which is 3 raised to a power of 4, 3 square, 3 square times 5 is what we have. 
5040 contains only a 3 square whereas for 405 to be able to divide that number 5040 should have contained a 3 power 4 it does not have adequate powers of 3 so f is not the answer so what are all the answer options e d and then we had a couple of them there right so in addition to that we have c b b c d e are our correct answers which essentially translate to 144 240 112 and 560